and welcome back to prodigy rp so in the last video we did uh quite a bit one of those things being of course a lot of post op and trust me we did a lot of the go postal job off camera as well and on the last stream again that vod should be up if you guys do want to check out how the last stream what was pretty much just us grinding the go postal shop trying to unlock trucking finally and after a lot of work we finally unlocked trucking now something i didn't check out on stream and didn't even notice is that there is an actual trucker perk system similar to the criminal perk system so if we hit f1 and if we go over here to this new thing on our menu called the trucker perks menu click on that we can now see that there's actual xp from trucking and as you go along so currently there's only four different ones but maybe they're going to add more specializations of this in the future no idea yet uh but let's look through them so the first one is going to be a long distance so you can get jobs with multiple deliveries at once which sounds pretty nice i'm pretty sure it pays quite a bit more we got on time you can get jobs with special time and speed requirements so i'm guessing again another one that's probably going to keep paying more and careful driver you can get jobs with a fragile load and then we got explosive load you can get jobs with an explosive load which again i'm guessing each one of these starts paying out more and more so we're definitely working on our trucker levels and we'll do a full trucker run later on in this video but for now i have quite a couple plans for today so currently some of the friends that we've been doing quite a lot with isaiah and nick as well as cat are doing the metal detecting job and i believe isaiah has gotten two chests from doing it and uh, we want to try and open those up today so we're gonna call him up let him know that we're gonna probably go fishing for quite a while try and get him a key because i believe that is how you get the keys to actually open the chest once we've opened the chest uh see what we got i think we're then going to be focusing on quite a lot of crim stuff today it's gonna be uh, quite a progressive day hopefully as we can see we're almost to level four a demolisher although again it doesn't really matter at the moment since we can't really make the freaking fnx's because we don't have the blueprints but that is why we're going to be working on house robberies uh, i believe we are almost level one in house robberies we need to get up to i think level two or three to start having a chance at getting these blueprints um i also not sure if it's going to happen in this video but i do want to go talk to some of the gangs around see if they have any deals that we could work out where we bring them certain items and in return they give us the blueprints so we're going to work on that as well later on um now i did say i was gonna work on the car show in this video but uh right after that video unfortunately a couple car shows started popping up so we're probably gonna hold off on that idea for just a little bit longer until uh the car shows died down and then we're gonna start trying to make our own event and get sponsors for it and all of that stuff but for now let's uh let's give isaiah a call tell him that we heard that he had some chests and uh, let him know we're gonna do some fish and try and get him some keys yep Yo, yo. What's up? What's up? Um, cat told me you had some chests. Huh? Cat told me you had some treasure chests. Yeah, I have two big ass treasure chests. Uh, I'm gonna start doing some fishing, and I'm gonna see if I can get you a key. And then you wanna open it yeah, together and see what we got. Yeah, I don't think you get him from fishing though, but maybe. That's what I was told by multiple people. Oh, really? Uh huh. If that's the case, we're gonna head up there because I have two of them, and they're each of them are 120 pounds. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the one I got from the one I got from fishing is 50 pounds. So you can already imagine how big that shit's gonna be. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I've told. I've been told by everyone that you can get keys from the uh, fishing. Okay. Well. Uh. If you. Okay. So. Yeah. Apparently, more people have said you can get them from fishing. So I think we gotta go up and fish, guys. Okay. Well, if that's the case, we're all gonna go up. And all right i'll meet you there and then uh you guys want to do like a bunch of boosts and atms houses and stuff today yeah yeah if we do that i'll get to uh house robbery rank too yeah i'm getting there i'm getting there yeah right. and i have my we can use my custom uh not my custom car but my uh new car for the house robberies because this shit is fast oh well yeah all right all right yeah, i'll meet you uh, i'll meet you at the fishing then yeah yeah we'll all do right. that i'll see you guys there see you soon peace peace all right perfect so uh it seems like they're all gonna come over to the fishing spot see if we can get this key a little bit faster so let's go ahead over to the fishing area we're gonna start fishing for quite a while uh, i'm gonna probably clear my inventory it's quite full of a bunch of trash and i'll see you guys once we're there hopefully getting ourselves a key opening up this chest and seeing what we get and then moving on to doing quite a lot of criminal stuff trying to get our house robbery stuff trying to get our boosting up and of course trying to get a criminal level up i'll see you guys when we're over at the fishing spot hopefully getting a key in just 
a little bit all right so we're at the pier buy ourselves a fishing pole as well as like 50 bait or i guess 25 of each i don't know what the difference is so boom and boom and see i don't know if they already started looks like they did but we're gonna head on down here and do some fishing hopefully get ourselves a key or at least hopefully someone gets a key guess we'll see how this goes yo people fishing i said we got all four people fishing i'm just gonna drive my car down there because i don't trust fuckers with my car fair enough he has a little paranoid about his car at the moment he just got a new one i believe the buffalo stx quite a nice one at that but uh we're gonna start fishing here and i'll cut back when uh i guess anything interesting happens or we get the key hopefully we can get it pretty soon one hour later all righty so isaiah and i just ended up finishing fishing for about an hour isaiah posted an ad trying to buy some keys but no luck we've been here for an hour again getting I no guess keys message. so a complete let's open this soggy boot yep scrap metal asking me where to get the keys like i know where to get the keys well i i was told here but i don't know that's an hour of fishing and nothing not another hour not another second spin on this dumbass job i feel that all right let's uh get out of here say screw this and move on for the day Alrighty, so unfortunately our endeavors in trying to get a key for Isaiah's chest were unfruitful. We spent again a little bit over an hour there fishing. Uh, we had I think four people and then three people. Then it was just Isaiah and I for probably the last half hour to 40 minutes. And it seems like we could not get any. Uh, I believe some of them are still metal detecting trying to see if they could maybe find the key that way. So far, unfortunately, no luck. So what I think we're gonna do today, as I said earlier, is try and get into the arms game a little bit into the firearms game. So uh, what I think we're gonna do is head down to the balls block. Again, a little bit of a scary, sketchy area, but last time I was there, they were at least pretty friendly. I believe we talked to, if I can find his name, Carrots McCracken. Uh, so we had talked to him and he basically had told us that a lot of his guys hit houses so what i think we're gonna do is head over there um see if there's anything that they're willing to trade for the blueprints now i know they probably use the blueprints themselves to uh probably create weapons for themselves but if there's anything else they need maybe we could help them with that they could help us with the blueprints we can start selling firearms hopefully in mass and uh hopefully have that go well start becoming an arms trader and an arms dealer around the server for hopefully a couple groups but we're gonna see what happens again they probably are gonna just shut us down immediately say that you know they just use the blueprints for themselves they have no intention of selling them but we can at least try there's only one way to figure out of course that is the only way is to try so let's go do it again i've been a little discouraged about uh becoming an arms dealer and all that stuff just because it's been quite hard somewhat almost impossible to get blueprints um i was talking to a group yesterday i believe who has done like over 400 houses and only got i think two or three blueprints so it's just really hard for us to get this whole arms dealing stuff going um and i've tried doing the arms dealer stuff on multiple servers it's never worked out I'm really really trying to get something going here so let's go over to the balas block meet with them and i guess hope for the best let's see all right heading down to the cul-de-sac now there's usually a lot of them around so not exactly sure where they are they're usually here i think we're just gonna chill here wait for a little bit see if any of them show up and hopefully we can figure something out we'll wait here for probably 10 20 minutes hopefully one of them shows up okay hello okay. yeah um so i talked to uh, i believe a fellow named carrots a little while ago what who uh, uh, carrots, I believe, is with you guys. Carrot. Carrots, one sec. Carrots McCracken? No. Oh, none anymore. Okay. Okay. Uh, why? Why? Bro? Um. Well, my, basically, I'm coming down here. I've been trying to get into the uh, the gun game for a while. It's been pretty f impossible. 
So I wanted to come down and uh, I know you guys hit a lot of houses. So I wanted to see if you guys needed anything that you would be possibly willing to trade for the blueprints. I understand you guys probably use them, but is there anything else that uh, possibly we could trade for? I really don't know what you're talking about, dog. So. Fair enough, yeah. fair enough. What's your name? Uh, Zez. Who you roll with? Uh, I'm just solo at the moment. That's... Yeah, I don't know, dog. Honestly. No, no. Nah, I'm gonna have to pass on that. Nah, no problem. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate yeah. you, man. Yeah. All right. Seems like they're not about it at all, um, which is fair. I mean, obviously we're a no, and apparently the guy that we talked to is either no longer around or was part of something completely different. But another, another unfruitful attempt at trying to get into this arms deal and stuff. Not sure if it's ever gonna work. I guess we'll see. I'll see you guys back in just a little bit. That's a, that's a nice car, huh? Thank you, mate. You too. That thing looks sweet. No, that, I mean, it's it's kind of fucked up, but... Uh, <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, if listen, if you want to repair this little shameless plug, just come down to Aros Aros and uh, we'll, we'll fix your car for you. Oh, we'll do, we'll do. All right, Holmes. Bye-bye. Uh, you take care. By the way, aren't you, aren't you the lowrider guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's your name? I'm Zez, okay, mate. Nice to meet you. Oh, Zez. Uh, I'm, I'm Eddie. Pleasure to meet you, Eddie. Pleasure to meet you too. Can I get your number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that? There you go. See. Perfect. Gracias. Uh, are you into like what do you, what do you do for a living? Ah, uh, a little bit of everything to be honest. A little bit of everything. Oh, okay. I mean, we're we're hiring at um, Autos if you're interested in a job or something. Are you actually? See, maybe maybe you could get a job there. You just need to send in an application. Just come on down there, and someone will take care of you if you, if you really want a job. Okay, yeah, I'm usually around from about the, the storm before this to about the storm after this. Oh, okay, well, maybe that's that's good. So just come on down there, send an application, and you'll get... We're doing interviews about every weekend. Okay, okay. See? But it was a pleasure talking with you. Yeah, you as well. I appreciate it, man. Bye-bye. You take care. Quite the interesting opportunity. Um, We're going to have to think about that and maybe look into that a little bit more. I guess we'll see all righty so first of all i did double check and the baller that we did talk to was carrots hey zez not a problem i'm carrots by the way pleasure to meet you but i guess he's either left the gang since then or something else i'm not too sure what do you think yo yo zez What's i up? got it i got the key i oh. got the fucking key so was it not from fishing on no it's from metal detector oh fuck. okay i got bad info i literally had like three people tell me it was from fishing i swear yeah well uh shoot him uh i got it i got the key uh where are you at i'm at the beach all right i'll be there soon don't open it please yeah, but please. my uh, my treasure chests are at my apartment still you want me to just meet you there yeah we can just meet there uh sandy right yeah yeah Sandy. Right. Yeah. i'll see you there all right see you all right so it looks like isaiah got a key so we're gonna tr finally find out what's in these treasure chests apparently he got the key from metal detecting so it seems to get both the chest and the key and from it so i was given false info that it was at fishing so that was about an hour of our time wasted unfortunately but either way let's head up to the apartments meet up with isaiah and the rest and open up this treasure chest see what we get yeah, I don't trust us opening it here, so I'm gonna grab it from the van. We're gonna go somewhere else. Yeah, I'll just grab it in your car. All right, we're with Isaiah and Cat, about to grab the treasure chest. So let's hop on in, wait for him to grab the key or the key, treasure chest, and then I think we're gonna go to a different location, open it up, and again, see what we get. All right, let's see here. Uh, actually, let me show you the stuff in the trunk. Yeah, don't so put it on the ground. <laughs> No way, are <laughs> of course not. We're gonna take a little look at what oh, these yeah, then we things have that look thing like. As well. Hold on, uh, I'm gonna grab it from my drink holder. Hello, hello. There we go. <laughs> we opened the chest. Oh, uh, did you put it in there? I, I opened it oh, and I said you can take a look at it. <laughs> what you? Oh, did you put it? What's in there? What you got in there? Uh, I've already opened it. Oh, what you got? One hundred and forty-six gold coins. Oh my. Yeah, we're gonna go and sell that shit. 
All right, so it seems we've got 136 gold coins. I have another chest in store. Nice. So uh, hopefully that's worth it. I don't know how much money that's worth, but we're about to head to the pawn shop. See how much it is, though. Let's go check it out. Alrighty, at the pawn shop. Gonna see what we get out of these 136, I believe, gold coins or something around we there. We also have the microwave cat have. Oh, nice. Cat wants to sell them. Let's see. Hopefully this sells for a decent amount. 2.6k. Ooh. Damn. Ooh, that's pretty good. Not horrible. Not horrible. Ooh. It's not that bad for being rank zero. Yeah. Oh. That's what we, no, uh, like I got a big fat chunk got got from the treasure chest. Unfortunately, nothing too crazy, but 2.6k in gold coins. Not bad. Probably helps a lot with the rep as well, but that's be about it for now. I think next we're going to go uh, test out some of the trucking, show you guys how that works. And I'll see you guys once we're over there. Alrighty. So we're back. Uh, now I was thinking that we could go try and talk to some other gangs, which we might end up doing a little bit later or in the next video, but... To be honest, um, a little, little discouraged from the whole gun running thing just because of everything that's happened and how hard it is, it seems, to get blueprints. We have to start grinding out house robberies more, um, but it's just a long, long, long road until we're actually able to get to those tier three houses. And then even once we get tier three, we're not guaranteed to always get a tier three house. We can get like, let's say, 10 tier ones again in a row and get absolutely nothing. So it is... It is quite the investment um and we're probably not gonna be able to get the amount of blueprints we need to actually kind of run a gun dealing operation without a bunch of people so a little difficult um but we might try talking to some of the other gangs see if we can at least you know get some stuff for them build some reputation with them uh get our name out there a little bit more again but for the time being we are going to be checking out trucking i finally unlocked it again uh after hitting if we check on our phone and go to reputation after hitting level three in the go postal job we were able to unlock the trucking so if we open up this tablet we have here uh that we were able to buy from i believe the mall we go over to deliveries and then we can go over to this section over here called contracts and we're able to see a bunch of different contracts we can even see ones from actual deliveries we can see this is a restaurant order so we'd be going and delivering to an actual restaurant with players and everything which is pretty cool uh there's a bunch of other generic loads here we got another food delivery uh more generic loads a log load and what i basically do is just look through see what's pretty much paying the most also if we find what we want to do we can hit details on it and it will show us where the actual trip is so that one's all the way up to Polito. This one's all the way up to Polito. This one's 1800. And it's only two humane labs. We actually might do this one. So let's claim the contract as the such. And it will tell us again at the bottom right, as you can see on our phone, to retrieve the trailer. So what we're going to do is it will give us a location. For this one, it's all the way over here. We're going to head over to that location. And I'll show you guys how the rest works. Alrighty, so we're over at the trucking yard. We're gonna probably go park over here. Hopefully our car doesn't get stolen. There we go. Park up, lock it up. And now we gotta go over to the foreman of this whole trucker yard, which should be a little bit down here. And what we're gonna wanna do is quickly talk to him. We are going to retrieve our trailer. Since we don't own one, of course, we have to rent one for 300 bucks. So it's 300 bucks out of our profit every single time we do this, unfortunately. But let's hit confirm. Grab our trailer on over here. And it will also or grab our truck, I believe. And then it will also spawn a trailer, as you can see over there. And what we're going to want to do is just go on and attach it. Now, you can also get one of these uh, that you have to actually go and load like a forklift and load it up with packages. Just quite cool. It does take a little bit though, but uh, we're going to attach this to here and then it will give us a location. As we saw, it was at, I believe, Humane Labs. So if we look on our map, it will bring us all the way over to Humane Labs. So we're going to start going over there. And as we are, um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the trucker perks. I'm hoping that they add like some other sections to this, maybe a little bit more on the illegal side. I'm not sure how that would work though. Or if maybe they'd have to make a whole new class of like maybe smuggler or something like that for it. I'm not too sure. Um, also, let me know, by the way, in the comments section below, if you guys think we should stick with trying to do the gun running thing. Or if we should just say, screw it. 
uh take the 20 or 30 hour loss that it took for us to get level four in gun running or in demolisher and just say screw it and specialize into a whole new class and try and start up again i'm not really sure at this point um it's been quite a lot of problems and issues trying to get this gun running going um i've also not done the house robberies as much as i should have and probably need to get more into that uh, uh, the bridge is closed just our luck but we're gonna be able to re reverse out of here with our amazing trucker skills and find another route but as i was saying um the truck but as i was saying the demolisher class does not seem to be too fruitful yet it's been impossible pretty much to buy blueprints from anyone i haven't met a single person that wants to sell them and i've met at least probably quite a lot of people honestly that i've heard having them but no one no one at all wants to sell them and if they do it's usually for 15 or 20k and that's pretty much as much as the guns go for they go for around 20 25k so it's been very hard to get anyone to help us with that unfortunately but if we do specialize into another class we can definitely start working on some other stuff it's going to be a whole whole another grind to get back up to the level that we were at in demolisher so it kind of suck but at this point that might be our only option but for now, we're going to keep going trucking. I'll meet you guys over at uh, Humane Labs when we're doing this drop-off. Show you guys how that goes. I'll show you guys how the end of the job goes. And, of course, the payment and the XP and everything. So I'm going to start our trucker route all the way up to Humane Labs. And I'll meet you guys once we're arriving there. Alrighty. Arriving at Humane Labs. Now, I have done this delivery before and is quite a pain but we're gonna try and do it so i believe we just pull in here as tight as we can try and turn around a bit there we go we should be able to pull this on in here pretty easily so let's start backing up shouldn't have too many problems just backing it up backing it up and there is our delivery so let's start lining it up for that as you can see it's like a little transparent spot that you're gonna have to deliver it to so back it all the way up there we go not perfect perfect but good enough there we go and then it'll give us a, a new thing to do on the phone which is park the truck in the depot so we got to go all the way back to where we started and hopefully we'll get paid for this and we'll get a little bit of xp if you can tell right now our xp is at 1200 even so we'll see what we get from this delivery i believe it's like anywhere from 90 to 120 or around that mark not 100 percent sure but as we talked about earlier of course the uh the trucks do cost about 300 dollars every single time because you have to rent it for every single delivery so I am curious how much an actual truck costs. And I went to PVM and I couldn't find them anywhere in there. But we are going to check on Yellow Pages. See if there is anyone. Elite Vinewood Autos. I believe that's a dealership. Uh, so we might want to call them up. Let's keep looking. Any other dealerships open? Does not look like it. So what we're going to do is probably head back to the depot see if uh, again elite vine with autos seems like it was open so we're gonna probably either head there if there's no one working there we'll call him just see if he knows off the top of his head uh how much these things go for or how much any of the big rigs go for just to get an idea because if it's only like 30 40 grand it might be a worthy investment if it's quite a lot more than that which i'm guessing it will be i'm not sure if it's going to be completely worth it since uh again it's 300 every run so you need like 100 runs to even make up for it if it was 30k i believe that math works out correctly but either way let's head back to the depot turn this in get paid see how much rep we get as well as uh checking out how much these rigs cost and if we possibly want to buy one for the future Alrighty, getting back to the trucker headquarters we're gonna drive on over here and you see these green arrows we just gotta park at one of them so let's go over to this one right here just get out of our truck and did not mean to do that we should be paid again a good all if we check our bank 1837 dollars so not bad check out our trucker rep we're getting about 114 so not bad at all honestly we should be able to get to the next level pretty fast 
but now we are going to go ahead over to the dealership again elite autos i believe is right over here yep elite vinewood autos guess for the first time for once and we're gonna head over there see how much a big rig might cost if we do want to purchase one in the future just to get an idea of it again i don't think trucking will ever be our main main job but for late nights it's definitely just a nice relaxing job to wind down with chill out for a little bit and have a good time but let's uh grab our car head over to elite vinewood autos see if anyone's working there and possibly get a price on one of these big rigs all right over at elite vinewood autos looks like someone's working there perfect let's park on up and see how much these things go for i'm hoping it's not too expensive well, i guess we're about to find out hello um just a quick question i'm guessing you've been getting this question quite a lot recently uh but how much does like one of the big rig uh, trucks go for you can't buy them oh really yep okay okay i appreciate I that sir how how's your day going oh it's going all right going all right yeah, man. Uh, could be better could be better but it's going all right for the most part yeah we we have to anything good oh just some truck in here and there for the most part a little fishing yeah. Yeah, man. Gotta make that bread, you know? Make I'm the trying, I'm cheap. trying. <laughs> yeah, man. <sighs> Alright, well, you take care, sir. I appreciate it either way. If you need it, if you've got any other questions, you give me a call. Hit my number. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Have a good day, and yep. thank you for choosing Elite Vine with Auto. Always. Alright, you take care, sir. All right, very interesting. Apparently, they're not being sold at the moment, so I'm not sure why it says it's a thing that we have to rent it when there's no way to buy it so i'm a little confused on that but maybe they're going to be added in later on not sure how that works but uh definitely interesting let's uh go around for a bit and finally move on with our day Alrighty, so what i think we're gonna do to end this off is try and talk to some of the gangs you can see we're near the marabunta grande gang uh that we actually joined on svrp but i'm guessing this is definitely different people so we're gonna head on over here i saw some of their cars parked up and see if we can get one of them to come out but yeah there's one up there so we'll see there we go hello I thought you was fucking with my tag, bro. I was about, whoo! <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I was just looking to talk to some of y'all. Um, so I've been around the city for quite a while now, I and mean, I'm trying to basically just talk to some of the groups out there, see if y'all need anything, see if y'all need help with anything, getting anything done, and uh, trying to just, you know, build some rapport between us. Oh, man, I, I, I appreciate you uh, coming up here for that. Um, yeah, I mean, in need of anything currently not particularly um i mean other than you know people i don't know uh if you're are you affiliated with anyone no i'm just just by myself at the moment i mean it, if you know like you said you're trying to meet a bunch of people if you if you get your feelers out and uh you know you, your interests want to lie over here we would be more than willing to you know have some hangarounds you know um we can see what you what you're about okay and okay. Uh, you can work your way in i have my, my guy right here he's he's also a hang around he's trying to get a trying to get his feet wet he's been getting them pretty wet so far okay okay i appreciate that but uh yeah i mean we're we're just uh we're, we're a chill group you know we're we're not we're not too too big yet i got you i got you but uh oh, oh, man. Here, oh no oh, no hello. you good you good texting nobody bro <laughs> but yeah um we're more than willing to have some hangarounds, you know yeah yeah um another thing i wanted to talk to you about is i've been trying to get into like the firearms game for quite a bit it's been a fucking pain in the ass um so i was wondering if y'all by any chance if you get blueprints if there's anything you're willing to either sell them for or trade them for or anything of the sort i will go ahead and be extremely blunt with you i'm if we're getting blueprints we're using them that's that's what i assumed i've yeah I've talked to a couple other people and that's what everyone says so i, I get that for sure they're just yeah. way too useful to sell yeah, of course, yeah, that, of course. Me and building that FNX is a lot more useful for me than me giving you the blueprint. Yeah, exactly, for a few exactly. Just for you to sell it to us later, you know what I mean? Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're just, uh, I'm selling you the blueprint so you can sell me the gun. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you want to grab my uh, my number and if I could grab yours if you don't yeah. mind. Yeah, I'll send you my business card. Perfect. Yeah, my name Perfect. is Snow. I'm one of the patrons of the Marabunta Grande. And, uh, yeah. 
Well, I appreciate y'all being so friendly. Uh, I'm glad you, uh, I understand the gun, but thank you for not pointing at me at least. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, I was about to. Like, look, we were sitting up here and I, and I saw you get out and you looked at the tag and I thought you was about to fuck with the tag. No, 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 no. <laughs> But yeah, um, just, you know, there, you got my business card. Just let me know if you need anything. Uh, you can hit me up if I'm around. I'm usually around a lot. Perfect, perfect. Not as much as me, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much around oh, yeah, no, all this, day. This man, is, this man has not slept in almost 60 hours. Oh, yes, sir. Holy shit. But like I just told those guys, like, we don't tax around here. Not yet, anyways. You know, we're not we're not at, to, to established enough for that yet, you know? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, but we, we do just ask to, if you do come through here, if you're, if you're robbing any house or anything, just check in. Uh, yeah, make sure yeah, ain't yeah. nobody around, because uh, somebody may not like that. I got yeah. you, I got you. All right, I appreciate y'all. I do appreciate it a lot. Yes, sir. Ain't no problem, man. All right, well, y'all take care. Stay safe, and uh, hopefully no Very one fucking tries to wipe your tags. <laughs> man, it better not. <laughs> All right, nice meeting with them. They seem pretty friendly. Now, seems like they're pretty a pretty new gang around, so they are looking for hangarounds. So it could be an option. Uh, we still gotta talk to Michael. I think we're gonna be doing a bank heist with him soon, so we're gonna look at a little bit more of a feel for his group. But to be honest, I'm trying to find like uh, I'm not sure if we want to go with Michael just because we know him from quite a while ago, and I'm trying to find I think more of like an organic kind of new experience if that makes sense uh, i'm trying to trying to find a gang that fits the same vibes that we had with quite a couple of the gangs on eclipse where they're super super rp focused uh not saying any of these groups are or not but just trying to find one that fits that bill uh it's been a little hard so far but we're gonna keep going on we could go see if any of the vagos are around although i don't think i've ever ever seen them at their block for the most part let's uh let's head on over here yeah, I never see them hanging out here, ever. I don't think I've ever seen a single car in that parking lot. So maybe we'll meet with them another day. But for now, I don't know really too many of the other gangs around. I've seen quite a couple of them. I know like the Goofy Coopers are definitely one. Uh, I know there's a gang that resides on Forum, although I don't remember their name. And there's honestly gangs pretty much everywhere around the city. It's just I really want to try and find a good high quality RP one that we want to join have some good times with and uh, hopefully build something of a story but i honestly think that's gonna be about it today we definitely made some progress we got a potential job offer or job opening over at autos autos which we might end up taking up so we can have a little bit more of a reliable job and again we should meet a ton of people through being a mechanic so that's definitely an avenue that we want to think about uh, other than that again let me know in the comments if you guys think that we should maybe screw the idea of becoming an arms dealer because it's just super hard to get the blueprints especially without a group at the moment and we should maybe focus on another path of life we'll have to see uh also let me know if you think we should keep trying to talk to some of the other gangs kind of getting a feeling for them seeing how they operate seeing how their rp is and such but uh, i do think that's gonna be about it for this video a little bit of a shorter one checking out the truck and checking out a couple other things hopefully you guys did enjoy and as always if you did make sure to leave a like on this video and if you want to, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.